Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. How are you, my dear class? Very fine, thanks. Don't tell me. It was a hard day. <laughs> always. As always, you say. Well, I imagine. I imagine. What is the <laughs> What is the best day of the week? For you, I mean, one day that you consider that it's like, nah, it's not that hard. Or all the days are hard. Hay algún día en específico que sea como menos trabajoso que los demás? No. No. Always hard. All of them. ¿Y qué es lo que hace principalmente en su trabajo? Este. Chumpas. Oh. Chumpa, la parte de, del gorrito de atrás. Ah, el hood. El, el hood. hoodie. El hoodie. Es el hoodie. Uh -huh. el, ah, pues, pues. Oh, y ok. Es tedioso, estresante. <risa> no, but yeah, it's like, yeah. Yo siempre les digo de que, bueno, cada trabajo tiene su, su dificultad, ¿verdad? Cada trabajo tiene su, su, su cuestión de estrés. Algunas son más psicológicas, algunas son más técnicas, algunas son más físicas. Pero es más estresante andarlo buscando. <ríe> you know? Definitely. Yeah, andar buscando trabajo es mucho más estresante que, que cualquier otro. So, but, but yeah. Bueno, pero tiene la ventaja de que puede hacer algo que no todos pueden hacer. Entonces, Yes. Yo, por ejemplo, no lo podría hacer. <ríe> Arruinando como mil chaquetas. Eh. Cortando oh, la cinta. Maybe not, right? <ríe> ya, yeah, yo mejor déjenme dando clases. <ríe> it, it is better. It is better. Hello, Brendita. Brenda García, how are you? Very fine. Very good. ¿Y el suyo en qué consiste? ¿En qué consiste su trabajo? Yo ando en todos lados y en ninguna parte. <risa> Teacher Nati le dice. <risa> eh, estoy en un área que cubrimos los ausentismos, las incapacidades, uh. diferentes operaciones, diferentes estilos. Uh, qué interesante. O sea que usted, si no llegó alguien, le toca cubrir ese puesto. Ah, ¿O usted bueno. es la que lleva el registro? No, nos asignan. Oh, mire qué interesante, pues. Ahí yo lo sí. puedo ir conociendo ahí día con día a, a cada uno. <risa> well, I teach. Yo ahí igual que usted. Ando a cargo de todos. Quien no vino, quien no vino, quien le toca, dónde va, qué salón, cuántos niños, quién no vino, los niños, por qué no vino. So it's like, it's, it's, it's a big thing. Okay. Y, y llamarle a los niños, mire dónde está, por qué no ha venido. Voy en tráfico. So, es una, una cosa bien divertida. Sí. Well, so it is a great happiness for me to have you here. Another day, another class. Imagine all of a sudden, we almost have two weeks together. Ya casi como nada, vamos a tener dos semanas de estar juntos. Vacaciones. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, well, yes. <laughs> well, yes. On Monday, we have vacation, right? We have vacation uh -huh. on Monday. And on next Wednesday, because we have the Labor Day that it's May the 1st, that one is vacation, and also Mother's Day, right? Mother's Day, it's also vacation. So it's for you to celebrate with your mother, right? Not to celebrate with your friends, right? Well, your mother is also your friend. También si su esposa ya tiene hijos, pues si tiene una representación ahí de mamá de familia, pues celebrate with her. So, but that's the May 1st. So on Monday, we have vacation. Because yeah. it's Labor Day. It's el día del trabajo. Le voy a dar vacación. Yo digo siempre tendríamos que trabajar el día del trabajo ¿verdad? para celebrar el trabajo. So, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> It is one of these contradictory things, right? But then it's okay. And on May the 3rd. No, May 10th. May the 3rd is the cross day, but we are going to have classes. El día de la cruz y tenemos clases. No, me va a decir, hoy día de la cruz, teacher. 
Yes. Le voy a poner una crucita aquí en la pantalla. But okay. that's the only thing that we are going to do that day. And we are going to have classes. But Monday, no, and next Wednesday, uh, the 10th. Okay. So that's, those are the vacations that come. And later, no vacation. Right? The next six days, work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. We are going to work the next days. So, my dear class, uh, today we are going to finish the practice of simple present and he, she, it. I know it's a very complicated topic. Thank you very much for all the ones who sent me the audio. There were audios early in the morning that I, I love those, right? I was listening to them in the morning. One of the main problems with the audios was the am, the pronunciation of am, right? I am, um, am, right? Am, that was one of the most common mistakes. Am, uh, also first, first, third, and uh, last, and finally, right? And I work. It was curious because you say, I receive English classes from eight to 10. Ese era el ejemplo, pero ustedes a qué hora reciben clases? From seven to nine, right? My example on the on the presentation was from eight to 10, but that was a, just an example, right? But your class is from seven to nine. And when you say like, I work, right? I work in um, AM, that was the most common one. And remember, when you give a sequence, it has to be organized, right? Por eso se llama secuencia, tiene que ir en orden. Because eh, estaba oyendo algunos que me decía, I have breakfast in the morning, I cook dinner, I receive classes, and then I cook lunch, I go to bed. And I was like, what a crazy day, I say. Very bad. Teacher. <laughs> yeah. Teacher. Yes. Yo, yo entendí, yo entendí que usted dijo que le comentáramos alguna de las de nuestras rutinas propias. Ah, ah ya, yeah, but en la rutina, cuando cuando hacemos una rutina, tiene que ir, pues obviamente en la secuencia de, de cómo lo hacemos todos los días, right? But that was good. La práctica estuvo sumamente buena. Solo ya nos queda para la próxima vez que la sequence es cabal en el orden. Ah, pero vieron varios, pero entonces no me preocupes. Sí, porque yo así lo hice. Yeah. Yo así lo hice de, de lo que hice oh. justamente oh, hoy. No yeah. oh. Y ahí, ahí, lo, ahí lo escuché. No, but that's okay. Es? Eso está, estuvo muy bien. Es? Just remember the order, right? The sequence words, because that's, that's one of the most important things. To follow the sequence, okay? To follow the sequence. So, yesterday we were working on this. Let me just check it here. And here we go. Remember that when we follow the sequence, that's why we have this one. So, ese es el propósito de estas palabras. Porque vamos, first, second, third, next, later, after that, then finally. Si las traducimos, sería como, ok, primero hago esto, después esto, la tercera cosa que hago es esto, después de esto, de, más tarde, después de esto. Eh, Para terminar y finalmente. Okay, so you go in order. But that's a very good practice. The idea is that you think and practice with the vocabulary that you acquire, right? Cada vez que van adquiriendo vocabulario nuevo, pónganlo en práctica. No solo con su rutina. Okay, ¿qué otra cosa hacen en orden? ¿Cómo trabajan? Por ejemplo, first I go to the office. I go to the, to the factory. Then I register. No sé si se registran, si marcan. Okay, then I register. Then I enter to my workplace. Then I turn on the machine. Then I do this. So, ¿qué hacen en su trabajo? ¿Cuál es su rutina de trabajo? Think about that. That is another form. For example, if you think about the supermarket, what is the process of going to the supermarket? ¿Cuál es el proceso de ir al super? What is the first thing that you do? Uh, 
or even if, if, if you don't know in English, right? Aún si no lo, super, si no lo sabemos cómo decir en, en inglés. ¿Qué es lo primero que hacemos cuando vamos a ir al súper? Agarrar el carro o el bus. Ajá, agarramos el carro y el bus. Pero antes de todo eso tenemos que pensar. Ok, tengo que pensar. Hey, tengo que ir al súper, right? Tengo que ir al súper. And then you, you make a list, right? Of the things that you need. And then you find the money, right? Después buscamos el dinero. Después buscamos el carro, el bus en el que nos vamos a ir. Primero decidimos, bueno, antes de eso decidimos a qué súper vamos a ir. You say like, no, this one. No, that's too expensive. No, let's go to another one. To Priceman. Uy, no, <laughs> that's too expensive. Let's go to uh, Super Selectos or Dispenser, whatever other, right? Then you drive or you take the bus. And when you Metro arrive to the... <laughs> al mercadito, eh? cuando llegan al super, ¿qué es lo primero que hacemos cuando llegamos al super? Buscar ofertas. <laughs> yeah, el papel de las ofertas, right? Next, I take the paper with the offers. Then, what do I do? I look for the, for the car or the basket, right? I look for the cart or the basket. <laughs> What is the name of this one? I will put it right here. The cart or the basket. Oh, wait. Wait. There you go. Okay. Anda en la en la plena renuencia mi computadora. Okay. So you look for the cart. You look for the cart or for the or for the basket to take your things, right? And okay, here you have it. Ta -da! The cart. The cart is el carrito de compras, right? Mm. Or the basket. The basket is la canasta. Right, you look for the car or the basket. After that, ¿qué hacemos? Cuando ya tenemos el carrito, la canasta. After that, you, what do you do? Caminar por el pasillo. <laughs> you walk around the supermarket, right? You walk around and select the products, right? You select the products. Once you finish selecting the products, What do you do then? Ya seleccionó sus productos. And then? Pay. You have to pay, right? You have to pay. And then? Go home. You go home, right? So that's a process. If you think everything in life has a process. Si lo pensamos, pudiéramos hacer un proceso de cada cosa que hacemos en la vida. Everything has a process. Even to check WhatsApp. Even to check TikTok, even to check Instagram, it has a process, right? You take the phone, you open the app, you open the things, you start scrolling, you get bored, and then you close it. That's a process, right? Everything has a process. Todo en la vida tiene un process. So you can use these words for everything, for every single thing in life, okay? So that's important. But thank you for all the ones who sent me the audio. Todos los que me enviaron el audio, super bien. Todavía me lo pueden seguir enviando ahora. Si no lo pudieron hacer por X motivo, envíenmelo hoy, después de clase o mañana temprano. Okay? So please complete your homework. It's very, very necessary and important. Let me see how many I have to see how many I am missing. Let me see. I have. Chan, chan, chan. I have one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen audios. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Five of you are missing. Cinco de ustedes me faltaron que me los envíen. So please do it. Okay. Ahorita. <laughs> Teacher. <laughs> okay, so please send me your audios, my dear class. So this is about uh, what we did yesterday. 
This is about what we did yesterday, the different verbs and everything. And today we are going to base ourselves in completing a couple of exercises, right? And we are going to do a lot of practice about this, okay? We have three different forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. The negative is easy because you have the auxiliaries. And the interrogative, it's easy because it has the auxiliary as well. The only thing that it's a little bit complicated is the affirmative because you need to make the change on the verb. Let me show you a little chart that I have here. Let me... Yeah, dele una galleta, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Do it. Okay, I have here a little chart about the verb to be in third person. And I am going to show you the rules. Just for us to have them clear. And let me see where I have them. It's right here. Okay, and let me share it with you. Okay, here I have the different rules that we were talking about yesterday, right? Here you go. In this one, these are the rules for the verbs, okay? The ones that I am showing you now. These are the rules for the verbs in third person. What Much. are the verbs? The actions, right? The actions are the verbs. What is the first rule? The one that we have right here. What is the first rule? This is the first rule. Can you read it, please? Most verbs. Most verbs. Most verbs. Take. Take. S. S. In the third person singular. In the third person singular. So the most common thing, as I was explaining you here, with all these verbs, como les explicaba aquí con todos esos verbos, most of them take only the S. And that's it, right? You put the S and then you have the verb in third person singular. The verbs, the verbs that finish. Okay, just give me one second. I need it. Okay, sorry for Kaiser, but I need to explain. Lo siento, Kaiser quería participar ahí. The verbs ending in double S, CH, SH, and X, you have to change them for ES. Todos los que terminan en su forma normal, en doble S, SH, CH, o X, you are going to put ES. Okay? Yeah. Um, for example, one example of a verb, you can say watch. Porque watch termina en CH. Another one can be wash. Wash de lavar, right? So, because it finishes in SH, right? The other one can be, can you tell me an example of a verb that finishes in X? Un verbo que termina en X? Fix. Fix. Right? Fix. Double S. Kiss. Right? All these examples are going to change with ES at the end. Okay? A todos estos ejemplos, para ser los tercera persona, vamos a agregar ES. Si estamos hablando de my mother, my mother watches, my mother washes, my mother fixes, my mother kisses. Right? So all these verbs are going to change with ES form. Wash. Wash. Okay, you have watch, watch, that it's watch. to observe, watch with T C H, watch, and the other one is wash. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. Y obviamente el, el, el significado, because you cannot say I wash TV. Because <laughs> bye bye TV, right? <laughs> if you wash the TV. Si lavamos la tele, pues adiós, nos vemos. But you say, I watch TV. I wash the dishes. I wash my hands. I wash my car. Right? 
I fix, I fix the computer, I fix the TV, I fix the television, I fix the, the yeah. car, anything, right? The machine, I fix the bus, kiss, kiss, right? I kiss my son, I kiss my daughter, I kiss my husband, I kiss my mother, I kiss my cat or my dog, right? Kiss, the action, kiss. <clears throat> In the next one, you have all the verbs that finish in a consonant and Y. Consonant and Y. You y. drop the I and write I-E-S. The Y is this one, right? Que terminan en consonante con Y. Uh -huh. So in this case, for example, we can have the verb. We have them. some examples right here. Study, right? We have the verb study. Tenemos una consonante Y. Aquí vamos a borrar esta Y y vamos a poner studies. Okay? Cry. Cry. And you have cries. Fly. Fly. And we have flies. You have to be very careful porque flies, si lo ocupamos como noun, es moscas. Pero obviamente vamos a decir the flies are next to the food. El contexto es diferente, right? And the flies fly, curiously. Copy and copies, right? Copies. copies. Okay, I need one copy and need seven copies of this verb, right? <laughs> and yeah. she copies the exam. That's a different form. That's the verb, right? She's copying the class. She copies the class. Okay, so you have the form in this one. When you have a Y, but you have a vowel before, si tenemos una vocal antes que la Y, so you say play, only the S, plays, stays, enjoys, obeys, right? Okay. Obey mm -hmm. is obedecer, right? So that is the meaning of that one, obeys, obedecer. So here you have the examples, right? Uh, yesterday I gave you the rules, les di las reglas así como eh, eh, solo mencionadas, pero sí quería que las tuviéramos eh, por escrito, que las pudieran ver, que las pudieran pues ya poner en, en contexto. So, in the different forms of the verbs that we have here, applying to the rules as we did yesterday, what is the third form of this one? She... What is the form of this one? Study. She studies. She Wait. wakes up. He shaves. Shaves. He takes a shower. Takes a shower. She has. has. She has ah. breakfast. Have es una forma especial que transforma y pasa a has. Drink. He drinks. He drinks. He drinks. He yeah. gets dressed. The next one. My mother cleans. Cleans. Right. So there you have the next one. No sé a dónde están mandando a la abuela, pero no la manden para ahí. Okay. Okay. Uh, she. What is the first one? Lips. She sleeps. 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 Works. She works. 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 He goes. 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 He speaks. Speaks. She Use. uses. 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 Porque aquí, obviamente, si no entra en ninguna regla, se agrega ese. He likes. likes. He no, he no. knows. She plays. Play. Play. Okay, plays. Play. No, it's plays. Plays. Play. Porque Play. tenemos vocal y griega y solo agregamos es. Play. He brushes. 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 He brushes. Right. The next one. She tapes. Tapes. And the last one. He drives. drives. He drives. He drives. Very good. So we are going to take this one a little bit further, okay? So if we talk about um, 
if we talk about a profession, let's talk about a teacher. A teacher. What does a teacher do? ¿Qué actividades hace un maestro? He, he what? ¿Qué hace un maestro? He. Enseña. Aha. What is the verb for that? Teacher. He teaches. He teaches the class, right? He teaches the class. What else? ¿Qué otra cosa creen que un maestro hace? Uh -huh. ¿Y? ¿Qué más hace un maestro? Give me another verb. Deme otro verbo para lo que hacen los maestros. Uh -huh. He tells. Okay, he tells the class. He tells the class. He speaks English, right? He speaks English. What else? Right. He writes sentences. What else? He talks, may I see America? He talks in English. He talks in English. In pro. Uh huh. In pro. He improves. <laughs> In pro. In pro is like what? Mejorar. Ah, okay. Mejorar. He, Im he improves your language. Mm -hmm. Okay. El te ayuda a mejorar tu idioma, right? He improves your language. Very good. He gives homework. He gives homework. Y si da la tarea, ¿qué más tiene que hacer con la tarea? Aha, uh -huh. he corrects, right? He corrects homework. He corrects homework. He explains. Mm -hmm. He explains the class. And we can continue writing about more things that a person does in his job, right? He teaches, he tells the class, he speaks English, he writes sentences, he talks in English, he improves your language, he gives homework, he corrects homework, and he explains the class. Carolina, give me the first sentence in negative. And you say, no, teacher, él no hace eso. Let's make this one negative. Teacher. He, he does. He doesn't. 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 He doesn't teach her in the class. ¿Cuál es el problema de la oración ahí? Doesn't. Ajá, doesn't está correcto. The verb. The verb. What is the normal form of the verb teach? Teach. <laughs> I gave you the answer. No, no, no. Ah, <laughs> yo lo quiero tanto que esta la respuesta le doy. Hey, hey. hombre. He. You hey. say he. Does he doesn't teach the class? Why? Because once you have the auxiliary, the verb is normal. He doesn't teach the class, right? Una mm -hmm. vez que le ponemos el auxiliar doesn't, el verbo se queda normal. Mm -hmm. How do you make it a question? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo lo hacemos? Does pregunta. He? Does he? Teaching the class. Does he teach the class? And there you have the question mark, right? Does he teach the class? Yes, he does, right? The teacher, does he teach the class? Yes, he does. So he teaches the class. He doesn't teach the class. Does he teach the class, right? So 
What is the negative form of the second one, Americo? The second one. She doesn't uh -huh. tell the class. She doesn't tell. Tells the class. Is that uh, correct? Pita. I did. Uh -huh. So you say, in this case, we are going to, let me see, where, what are the kids that are talking? I don't know. Okay, I found them. He teaches the class. He doesn't teach the class. What is the normal form of tell? ¿Qué le agregamos a tell? Solo le agregamos la letra? S. S. Yes. So the normal form of tell, it would be tell, right? Without the S. The normal form of tells, it's tell. He tells the class. The negative, he doesn't tell, tell the, class. the class. He doesn't tell the class, right? He doesn't tell. And for a negative, you are going to erase the S. Somebody he doesn't tell the class. And the question? Does he, he, he tell the class? class? Does he tell the class? Does Good. Tell the class? Luis Parrillas, give me the negative of this one. He negativo. Yes. He doesn't speak English. He doesn't, doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't speak, speak English. 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 English, very good. Isabel, what is the question? Is does doesn't he speak English? Mm, the question? Llevamos doesn't on the question or solo does? Does does does, does. okay la pregunta no la podemos hacer en negativo. Sí. So you say does he does he speak English? Very good job. Very good job. Evelyn, make the negative of the next one and Griselda the question. Uh, uh, negative. Yes. He doesn't write sentence. Very good. He doesn't write sentences. Griselda, the question. Does he write sentences? Excellent job. Uh, Isabel is going to give me the negative and Brenda the question. Brenda Garcia. For this one. Negative, Isabel. Uh, he doesn't te, te, tell tomorrow. He doesn't talk? In, he doesn't tell in English. Very English. good. He doesn't talk in English. Brenda Garcia, the question? Does, does help in English? Okay, the question would be, primero el auxiliar, recordemos, does, no, ¿cuál es el sujeto? He. He, mm -hmm. ¿cuál es el verbo? Tell. Talk. 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 ¿El complemento? In, in English. In English. Does he talk in English? That is the form of the question, right? That is the form of the question. Good. The next one. Uh, Selena Arevalo, give me the negative of this one. He improves, the negative, he improves your language. He does uh -huh. improve. Your language. Excellent job. He doesn't improve your language. Norma Jamilet, give me the question. Does he, he improve your lang language? Does he improve your language? Very good job. Excellent. Roxana, can you give me the negative for this one? He gives homework, the negative. De la de... He <laughs> gives, la última, he gives homework. La pregunta. The negative, la negativa. 
Ah, sería. He don't. He, y aquí tenemos el, el negative form. Um, he don't. He doesn't, ajá. He doesn't. Y le quitamos la Hunger. S. Uh -huh. He doesn't. Yes. ¿Y el verbo? Hunger. He doesn't give. He give. doesn't give homework. Hunger. He doesn't give homework. Very good. Marta Alicia, what is the question? Al teacher, negativa. No, the question. Do, does, do, does, does he, does he give back homework? Does he give homework? Very good job. Does he give homework? Let's go with the next one. Edwin, can you make this one negative? He explains the class. Make it negative. He explains the class. Mr. Edwin, se me fue a Let's go with, let me see. Américo, help me with this one. Negative. He doesn't. Uh -huh. uh, explain the class. He doesn't explain the class. Edwin, ya lo tengo de vuelta. Regálame la, la question for this uh -huh. one. What is the question form? No me voy a conectar. Me escucha, me escucha. Yes, yes, I can uh, listen to you. Fíjese que ahorita voy llegando. <laughs> ok, lo agarré en curva, lo agarré en curva. Bueno. Ajá, vaya. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es lo que me está preguntando? Necesito hacer la pregunta de He explains the class. ¿Cómo la hacemos en forma de pregunta? He explains the class. Este, sería en pregunta. Ajá. Sería He eh, Does he, Does Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Does he is He explain. Ajá, pero el auxiliar al principio does, que ocupamos. Uh -huh. Does he Does he explain the class? Very Does good job. He Does he class? explain the class? Good. So, <clears throat> como vemos que estamos ahí teniendo unos cuantos issues con esto, we're going to work on this one. I learned like this. Yo aprendí así, así que así le voy a enseñar a usted. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I will do it like this. Here we have the subject, right? Here we have the subject. Here we're going to have the auxiliary. Here we're going to have the verb. And here we're going to have the complement. Okay, we're going to have the complement here. Okay, the complement. In this one, Okay, lo voy a escribir completo para que no me digan. ¿Qué dice ahí, teacher? The complement. Okay, here you have the complement. I need you to create sentences using this structure. Hagan esa estructura en su cuaderno. Hagan ahí todas las rayitas. Para que cuando, cuando piensen en, en hablar, lo ordenen así y digan, hey, no me falta nada. ¿verdad? No vamos a jugar bachero te stop ahorita. Otro día de semana sí, pero ahorita no. And here we are going to use, okay, subject. And I will say, my mother, my mother. Pero este café no me gusta, vamos a poner en rosadito. My mother doesn't, okay? My mother doesn't, and we are going to use a verb. My mother doesn't cook. My mother doesn't cook dinner, period. Y tenemos una oración completa. Sure. My mother doesn't cook dinner. And here you can continue, right? You can say, he. He doesn't. Doesn't what? He doesn't use. He doesn't use a machine. He doesn't. He doesn't, right? Aquí no le escribí el doesn't. Estaba de He doesn't. He doesn't use the machine, right? And then you can continue. Okay. Teacher Nati, you say, Teacher Nati, 
Okay, teacher Enlo. Okay, teacher Nati doesn't doesn't uh, uh, I would say doesn't give homework. No le dejo tarea. Yo sí le dejo tarea, pero es un ejemplo. <laughs> teacher Nati doesn't give homework. So, and there you have one example. <laughs> Think about negative sentences. Piensen en oraciones negativas y hagamos el jueguito ahí de llenar las casillas. Viene unas cuatro. Usando okay. he, she, it. Si quieren ocupar don't. Si quieren ocupar otro sujeto. Aquí cambiamos por don't. And I will say, my brother. No, I will say, um, they. They don't study. They don't study with me. You can say, they don't study with me. They don't study with me. Esta es una oración negativa, pero con el sujeto de he, she, uh, sorry, we, you, they, or I, right? And we use don't. But right now, I want you to practice, okay? Practiquen, ahí llenando unos, unos cuatro, unos cuatro ejemplos. So you know that the normal verb, the auxiliary, the subject, and the complement are necessary for you to have a complete sentence. So you can say my parents, he, she, it, my sister, Juanita, Pedrito, I don't know. En el sujeto usted puede poner un nombre de la persona, puede poner solo el pronombre, puede poner una relación con esa persona. My boyfriend, my husband, my wife. You can use any example. My cell phone doesn't work anymore. Y eso ya sería un it, right? My cell phone, my cell phone doesn't work. My cell phone doesn't work very well, you can say. My cell phone doesn't work very well. Ya hay que botarlo. Y comprar otro. Solo me avisan dónde lo botan. <laughs> My cell phone doesn't work very well. And that's another sentence. Okay. Who has examples? ¿Quién tiene ejemplos para que comparte con todos? Anyone who has examples? Alguien que ya tenga un ejemplo puede abrir su micrófono y leerme. Max don't lie in San Francisco. Okay, Max. Max sería he. Con he, she, it usamos doesn't. Cambiemos uh -huh. la auxiliar. Max doesn't live 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 live. In San Francisco. Excellent. Max doesn't live in San Francisco. Another example, Roxana? Por ahorita solo es. <laughs> ok, ok. Escribamos otro. But that's good. That's good. Uh, ok, ahí te. Eh, y Griselda, creo que me iban a dar un ejemplo. Ok, <laughs> vamos. My brother don't clean room. My brother don't clean room. Okay, my brother don't clean room. ¿Cuál es el problema ahí? My brother, ¿qué sujeto sería my brother? He. Ajá. Con he ah. ocupamos? Doesn't. Doesn't. So you say my okay. brother doesn't okay. clean. Okay, y esa oración, esa, esa oración me gusta. Espérenme, la vamos a escribir, la vamos a escribir. escribir. <risa> El amor, vea. Ya ven, por sí. eso no me enamoro yo. My brother. My brother. And we have doesn't, porque es he. My brother doesn't clean. Clean. Si solo decimos, my brother doesn't clean room. Diríamos así como una forma de tipo lo, lo, los antiguos, los antiguos indios. Mi hermano no limpia puerto. So you say, my brother doesn't clean his room. Mi hermano no limpia 
su cuarto. Su cuarto right? Porque bueno, puede ser my room, ¿verdad? Pero ese día es pagado. My brother doesn't clean my room. My brother doesn't clean his room. Good. Fix it, I guess. Eh, Griselda, go ahead. Juan doesn't run in the park. Juan doesn't run in the park. Very good. Luis Parrilla, go ahead. Ah, sorry. Soccer. Okay, go. Continue, continue. We don't play soccer. Very good. Any other one? Okay, tenemos dos Griselda. Very good. Eh, Luis Parrilla, go ahead. She doesn't speak in English. Okay, she doesn't. Doesn't. She doesn't. Doesn't speak in English. Okay, porque cuando decimos dozen es este. She doesn't. Doesn't es docena. Docena de frutas, docena de huevos, docena de, no sé, de, de, de pollos. Doesn't. Cuando decimos dozen. But doesn't, doesn't, doesn't es el negativo. Okay, so that's a tip. Okay, good, good, good. Luis, excellent example. Brandita Martinez, give me one example. The microphone, sweetheart. I cannot listen. No te oigo. My sister don't eat milk. Okay, my sister don't uh -huh. eat okay. milk. Aquí tenemos un cuarto para mejorar, okay? My sister don't eat milk. Okay. Aquí tenemos un cuarto para arreglar esta oración. What is the first problem? Don't. The first problem is don't because is, is, because it has to be doesn't, right? It has to be doesn't. It needs to be doesn't. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos my sister. My sister sería she. She. My sister doesn't con la leche. ¿La podemos comer o la podemos tomar? Tomar. Ajá. A menos, que sea, a menos que sea leche drink. poleada. <laughs> Algo duro. My sister doesn't drink. Ajá. Carne. Ah, it's, that's another thing <laughs> that is meat, meat, meat. Aprendemos, <laughs> My sister doesn't eat meat. Also, aquí vamos a hacer una tripa chuca. Espérenme. My sister doesn't eat meat. My sister doesn't drink milk. Puede ser que las dos no le guste. Okay. So there you have the two examples. Okay, doesn't for because you are using my sister. He, she, it doesn't. The final example is going to come from Brenda Garcia. <laughs> my sister doesn't study the class. My sister doesn't study the class. Ya ve, no está aprendiendo porque no está aquí con teacher Nati. Sorry. <laughs> My sister doesn't study the class. That is good. Okay. Important. These examples are for you to improve your vocabulary. Se fijan qué fácil es. Ustedes pueden hacer, poner otro verbo, poner otra acción, otro complemento, y ya tenemos más oraciones. Okay. The idea is that you challenge yourself and say like, okay, my mother, my mother doesn't cook, my mother doesn't clean, my mother doesn't do this. And then you can start writing your sentences, right? But respect each of the parts, okay? Respetemos siempre las partes de la oración. That's why I wanted to show you like this. The same thing, the same thing is for you to Ok, si le van a sacar un screenshot a sus ejemplos, este es el momento antes de que lo borre. 3, 2, 1. Sure. Yep. Una pregunta. Ya, yeah, América. Eh, ¿Get up eh, va junto o esta parte, cada palabra? Which one? Give up. Give up. No se rinde. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, va aparte. Give up. Ya, se le iba a decir, pero ya no la digo. No, ok, give it to me. <laughs> Vamos, América me va a dar un ejemplo de give up. Uh -huh. I don't get up. 
I don't give up. I don't give up. Okay. Yeah. I don't give up. That's a good example. He doesn't give up. Very good job. So that is the form. Okay. That is the form. And the same you can use for the questions. Only for the questions you are going to use thus. Okay. You are going to use in this case is the auxiliary. Sorry. You are going to have the auxiliary. Okay, then you're going to have the subject. Then you're going to have the subject. Then you're going to have the verb. And then you're going to have the complement, right? Yeah. So it is the same thing for the questions, right? It is the same thing. Here, you are going to use auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. How are you going to create the examples? Como haríamos un ejemplo aquí con el auxiliar y das. Das, deme un sujeto. He, she, it. Sí. Does she, what? ¿Qué hace ella? Does she? Drink. Uh, okay, does she drink what? Does she drink what? Milk. Vamos a ver la milk aquí porque es bien famosa. Y el question mark, que es el más importante. Does she drink milk? And then you can create another one. Hoy lo voy a agarrar en fresco aquí sin que lo escriban. Eh, Norma Yamilet, give me one example. With the questions. Eh, sería dos das das my sister drink coffee does my sister drink coffee very good excellent nice ajá otro voluntario Ronald gracias does he play soccer Soccer. Does he play soccer? soccer? Very good. Does he play soccer? Carolina Duran, thank you very much. La vi con ganas de participar. Do they exercise? Do they exercise? Good. Ocupamos otro auxiliary. That's good. Do they exercise? Do they exercise? Do they exercise? ¿Qué complemento le podríamos poner a esto? Do they exercise? In tomorrow? Okay, in the morning. Do they exercise in the morning, right? In tomorrow is a mañana. That's not possible. Do they exercise in the morning? Yes, they do. No nos han visto corriendo detrás de la costa. Yeah. That's exercise. Ya les digo, yo nunca corro, pero si me ven correr, corran. <laughs> Algo está pasando. <laughs> so, that's a good example. Aide, go ahead. Example. Aide, después Roxana, después Brenda Martínez, después Américo. Para que se van preparando. Vamos, vamos. Doesn't she... Doesn't? ¿Podemos ocupar un negativo al principio? Does, does she? I see. Does she wash? Uh -huh. In the car? Does she wash the car? Good. No. Does she wash the car? Lava ella el carro? No lo lava. Good. Roxana. Tenemos a Roxana, después a Brendita y después a Américo. Roxana pide ayuda, el comodín, el comodín. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ahí la vi que está pidiendo el 50, 50. Yo vi. Yo vi. Prepárela, Roxana, y ya vuelvo con usted. Brenda Martínez. Does she drink tea? Sí. <laughs> Que usa, solo le, solo le cambió la bebida. That was good. But you have another sentence, and that's correct. That was good. Smart and good. Américo.
Ah, Américo, vamos. <ríe> Lo tengo pensado todavía. Ok, vamos a ver. Edwin, ¿tiene un ejemplo? Does he play soccer? Does he play soccer? Does, Does he play soccer? Good. Brenda Garcia. Does he play soccer? Go ahead. Brendita and then Ronald. Era Brenda Martinez. No, ya me la dijo Brenda. <laughs> ya estuvo. No la he hecho todavía. Apagámosla, hagámosla. Ahí tenemos el ejemplo. ¿Cuál fue la de? O solo oí un speak English. Pero no oí la oración completa. Isabel. Ah, perdón. Ronald estaba primero. ¿Qué más? <laughs> Do you like me? Do you like me? Do you like me? Yes, for sure. Say, do you like me? That's a, that's a tricky question, right? Esa, esa pregunta, tienen que tener mucho cuidado. <laughs> Listen to this one. ¿Por qué? Y ya les voy a explicar por qué. Do okay. you, do you like me? me? Right? Do you like me? And no, it's... <laughs> <risa> Do you like me? Tiene dos connotaciones. Si usted se la hace a sus amigos, but, hey people, do you like me? Así como les caigo bien. And they can say yes, you are a nice person. But if you tell this question to a per only to one person, right on the opposite sex, if you go and tell a girl, hey, do you like me? And it's like, mm, you are a very nice person. And it's like, yeah, amigo, do you like me? Si ya se lo hace a una sola pregunta, a una sola persona en específico, es que es te gusto. But if you say, do you like me? En un grupo de amigos, es, hey, les caigo bien. <laughs> And they can say, yes, you are nice, right? So you have to be careful when using that. But yes, we love you. We love you, Ronald. Don't worry. Aquí lo queremos un montón. Isabel, go ahead. Does she watch football on weekend? Does she watch football on weekends? What a nice sentence. Does she watch football on weekends? Very nice. Uh, do we study English? Do we study English? Very good job. Two perfect sentences. Very nice. Uh, The last one. Tenemos otra, vamos. Does he eat lunch? Does he eat lunch? Good job. Very good sentences. Nice job, Isabel. Very nice. Brenda, you have your sentence now. Go ahead. Do you, do you breakfast in the morning? Do you? No falta el verbo. Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you breakfast? Ajá, pero ¿cuál es el verbo? Do you? Eat. Eat. Do you eat? La oración estaba correcta, ¿ha? porque breakfast es el complemento. Do you, y aquí tendremos el verbo, do you eat, eat breakfast? Okay. Eat breakfast in the morning. Do you eat breakfast in the morning? Okay, so that's the verb. Do you eat breakfast in the morning? Do you eat lunch? Do you eat dinner? Good job, Brendita. Very nice sentence. Let's go back to Roxana. ¿Ya la tenemos? Vamos, oh, Roxana. Sí. Does she iron dressing? Dressing. Does she? Le la vamos a pedir a que, a que nos está haciendo copiando ahí. Does she? Does she? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Iron dressing. Iron dressing. Okay. ¿Qué plancha qué? Does she iron? Le vamos a poner aquí. Her dress. Her dress. La pregunta era que si ella planchaba. ¿Planchaba qué? Su vestido, su camisa, su uniforme, etcétera, etcétera. Okay. Does she iron her dress? Good. It's good. Américo. 
Ya no hay excusa, hoy sí ya la tiene. De micrófono, hay que noticia. Ya la había dicho. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Digamos otra. A otra. Para que practiquen. Sí, sí, está bien. Eh, does he Does he what? Does he what? What would be the question? Me cayó donde me pierdo los verbos. Ajá. Ok, <ríe> se, le pierde, se le pierden los verbos. Okay. Eso sucede, don't worry. Okay. Sí. Let me... Hola. Sí, que yo quiero dos oraciones para poderle finalmente entenderle. Ok, go ahead. Uh, do we speak English? Yes. ¿Está bien? Yes. Do you kiss mom? Do you kiss mom? Do you kiss mom or do you kiss your mom? Do. No, do you kiss your mom? Ahí sería a tu mamá. Do you kiss your mom? mom. Ok, mm -hmm. se le escribe, espérame. Do you, do you, do you kiss, do you kiss, y aquí podemos poner, do you kiss your mom, do you kiss your mom, it's like, le das besos a tu mamá, yes, yes, aproveche, dele todo lo que quiera, so, sí. there you go, que, Oración haríamos para esta persona afirmativa. He plays the guitar. He plays the guitar. Mm -mm. Negative. He doesn't play. He doesn't play the guitar. And the question? Does he Does play he... the guitar? Does he play the guitar? Very good job. Yeah. What about this one? Clean. Digamos clean, ¿ok? Clean. Para que se nos haga más fácil. Sí, clean. Afirmativo. Sí, clean. She cleans the backyard. Cleans the backyard. Negative. She doesn't clean. She doesn't clean. She doesn't clean the backyard. And the question? Does he play the guitar? Does he play the guitar? Does he play the guitar? Does she clean the backyard? Very good. Let's go with this one. He. He. Play in the park. He plays in the park. Negative. He doesn't play in the park. And the question? Does he play in the park? Does he play in the park? Good job. Let me give one more example. This is, uh, I will give you this one. Okay, podemos usar este hoy. Singer. Sí. No, ¿cuál es el verbo? Sí. 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 She sings karaoke. She sings karaoke. Negative. She doesn't. She doesn't sing karaoke. She doesn't sing karaoke. And the question? Does she sing karaoke? Very good job. Does she sing karaoke? That's the way it is, okay? I will call the attendance before we move to the next part, okay? Antes de moverme a completar el manual, vamos a pasar lista para que no nos quede interrumpido. 
And remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? When you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. <laughs> Let me... Okay, here we go. Los... Okay. Kaiser. Oigo a un Kaiser por ahí. Astrid Abigail. Ay, Lo voy a silenciar porque tenemos demasiado ruido y este cuando escuchen su nombre abran su micrófono, por favor, y ahí lo volvemos a apagar. Astrid Abigail no vino ahora. Eh, Ay, de Lisania. Present. Thank you. Brenda Elizabeth. Cerón García. <laughs> Present. Brenda Elizabeth Martínez Mejía. Present. Thank you very much. Selina Janet. Present teacher. Diana Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. I move this a little bit. Edwin Ernesto. Mr. Edwin Ernesto. Ahí está, pero no, no, no lo veo. Griselda Yamilet. Here. Isabel Rocío. Thank you. Present. José Antonio Present. Rivera. Thank you, Edwin. Mr. José Antonio. Para que me diga present al menos. Luis Américo Rivas. Here, teacher. Luis Humberto Parrilla. Present. Thank you. Marta Alicia. Present. Norma Yamilet Beltrán. Present. Odalis Marisol. Ah, Odalis tenía un problema, no tenía luz en su casa. Eh, Ronald Ulises. Present. Roxana de Jesús. Present. And Yolanda Beatriz. Yolandita. No. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Yo. Evelyn García, ya la dije. Edwin Ernesto, Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Thank you. <laughs> ahí la tenía, no, ya la había marcado, no tenga pena. Ya la puse ahí, presente. So, there you go. Good job. Thank you for the answer on the attendance, my dear class. Let's continue here. I am going to continue with the next part of this one. And we're going to move here. Okay. I have so many things here. Yes, Mr. Americo? Antes que continue, la Astrid pide que no sé si se va a seguir. Bueno, mañana no sé si se va a conectar. Porque hoy la mandaron, bueno, andaba enfermo. Uh, y, la, pobrecita. y la mandaron para su casa. Uh, ok, ok. Entonces, ya, gracias por compartirlo y le voy a poner ahí el comentario de que estaba enfermito. Thank you, Américo. Thank you very much. Pobrecita, lastre. Ayer la vi algo ronca. La escuché algo ronca. So, la vi ronca. That's not possible. On the manual, we have different activities for different people. Now that I explain how to use the he, she, it, and everything, now we can move to the daily activities and the daily routines. Here we have different professions, right? The first profession that we have here is a bookkeeper, right? A bookkeeper is the person that is in charge of working with the books in the library. Es una bibliotecaria. That is a bookkeeper, right? A bookkeeper. A financial analyst. What is this one? A financial analyst. Un analista financiero, right? A financial analyst. The human resource specialist. Especialista en... ¿En qué? Recursos humanos. Digital marketing manager. Director de, 
digital de. Digital marketing manager. Director de marketing digital. Exactly like that. El director well, o el gerente, en este caso, el gerente de marketing oh. digital. Insurance agent. Agente final. Mm, what is insurance? Agente. Seguros. Agente de. Seguros. Seguros. De seguros. And a software engineer. Ingeniero de sistemas. Ingeniero de sistemas. Right? We have different people. And here. We have six different activities for each of these professions. What is the first activity here? Keeps track of the fin financial accounts of companies. Who is this person? Keeps it is the, let me just change here. This is going to be the financial Financial. financial analyst. The person that knows the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Human the, resource specialist. The human resource specialist, right? This is the human resource specialist. It, they know everything about each employee. Si quieren saber algo de cualquier empleado, human resources. They know everything. Ellos saben hasta el tipo de sangre que tiene usted. <laughs> Who helps people and companies against financial loss and they manage risk? Helps people and companies against financial loss ante las pérdidas financieras y el manejo de riesgo. Insure a hand. Insurance agent. This is letter agent. E. Insurance agent. Insurance agent. The insurance agent, right? The next one we have here helps create, uh, sorry, helps people in business manage their finances. Digital marketing. Manager. Digital marketing. And the digital marketing manager, it can be. And. Yes. Okay, manage their finances. We have the financial energies analyst. Create and advertise the company over social media. Digital marketing. The digital marketing. This one, no, this is the digital marketing manager, right? El que les toma las fotos para las redes sociales y todo. So that is the marketing manager. Designs and develops software. Software engineer. The software engineer. Right? In this case, mm -hmm. so we have, let me just erase this one. This one is not the financial analyst. This is the bookkeeper. Ese sería como nuestro contador. Keep no. tracks of financial accounts and companies. And this one is the financial analyst. Number two, because it helps people and businesses with their finances. Okay, so let me erase everything and I will make it organized. Lo vamos a hacer más ordenado para que les quede a usted. Okay, se me desordenó el cerebro ahí con ese reloj. We go here. In this one, keeps track of the financial accounts and companies. This is the bookkeeper, right? This is letter A. Knows, okay, in this one, if we want to make it in third person, si lo queremos pasar a tercera persona, aquí tendría que decir... Keeps. 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 Right Keeps. with the S. Keeps. This one? No. Knows. Knows. This one? Helps. Helps. Uh, helps. This one? Helps. 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 Creates. Creates. And Designs. 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 Entonces, si le digo yo, who is a bookkeeper? ¿Quién es el bookkeeper? Ah, the bookkeeper keeps track of the financial accounts of companies who knows the policies and regulations involves the management of employees human resources human resources so you can say human the human resources specialist knows the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees and you can give me a definition who helps people and companies against financial loss and crisis the insurance agent, this is letter E. And you can say, 
the insurance agent helps people and companies against financial loss and manage risks. The next one, the financial analyst mm -hmm. helps people and businesses manage, manage their finances. Number mm -hmm. four, the letter D. And the last one is letter F. Okay, the letter <laughs> F. So give me a definition. Who is or what is the software engineer? Who's that person? The software engineer. The science. I did. Designs develop. and develops. Right? Develop. Designs develop. and develops different, different softwares. softwares, right? Designs and develop different softwares. In this one, we were talking about the different jobs. Si estamos hablando de ustedes, let's use your professions, okay? I will silence everybody. And here I am going to take, I am not going to write job, the name. I'm going to write the job here. We can say the mechanic, the uh, sewing worker, the, let me see another profession that you have here. So you The what? Sewing training. The sewing trainer. Okay, the trainer. Okay, the trainer. And the auditor. The auditor. What is one of the tasks of the mechanic? Que es una de las cosas que hace el mecánico. Deme una de las actividades que hace. Fix a machine. Fix. Fix. Fixes, fixes, ma fixes, fixes machine. machine. If fixes machines, the sewing worker. Yes, yeah, sewing Someone. worker. Sewer. The sewing worker sews clothes, mm. right? That's the the sewing worker. The trainer. ¿Qué hace el trainer? Un trainer es similar a un teacher. The trainer. A ver. Show. A shows. Uh -huh. Shows what? Show the. Show okay, you can say it shows the process of working, right? It shows the process of working. And the auditor. A ver, había un auditor por aquí. No me acuerdo quién era. Ok, un supervisor. Ajá, it the checks. Clothes. Checks. The clothes. The clothes. The auditor, right? The one that it's checking on you that you are doing your job. Checks the clothes. So those are the different things, the different tasks that you can do in your job, right? Those are the different things that you do in your job. In this one, I am going to, um, let me see. I think if I share my screen here, I can share the audio. Give me one sec. Okay, I will share my audio. And give me one, one second, I need to check on something. To put the audio for you. Okay, le voy a poner el, el audio. <clears throat> ah, but that was the same. No, 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 no. Okay, no, 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 forget it. Ese ya lo escuchamos. So let's go back here. Ese ya lo escuchamos la vez pasada. He works on Saturdays and on holidays and everything. So let's continue here. This is what we were studying before, okay? 
the affirmative sentences and the negative sentences. Este sí les hemos dado duro para que nos queden claras, right? For he, she, and it, normal verbs. And auxiliary, don't. So, here we have some examples. Here we have some examples. How can you make this sentence correct using the form of simple present, affirmative, or negative? It says, keep the company's track financial accounts off. And here we have the sentence. How can you make the sentence correct? Remember that the first thing we need to use is the subject. What is the subject here? ¿Qué sujeto they. tenemos? They. They what? What is the verb? Keep. keep. They keep. They keep. They keep what? Oh. They keep. Track. They track. keep track of keep. they keep track of company. Of company. companies. They keep track of, of companies of financial track company. They keep track of of uh, companies financial accounts they keep track of companies financial accounts it was like that they keep track ah, of the financial accounts they keep track of they keep track of financial accounts of company companies okay that was the sentence. There you go. The next one. Don't on internet the company advertise we. We don't. We so don't. we say we don't. We don't. We don't what? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Advertise. Advertise. We don't advertise. We don't advertise. The company on internet. we don't advertise the company on internet, right? Okay? No, la compañía no sale en internet. No la no la no hacemos marketing ahí. I everyday notes in the meeting stake. I take. Um, I take. Um, I take. I take notes. In the, meetings, in the meetings, in the meetings, every day. I take notes in the meetings every day. The next one. Carlos and Mauricio. Carlos and Mauricio. And Mauricio. Answer. Answer. Carlos, Carlos and Mauricio answer the phone. The Russian the phone. Carlos and Mauricio answer the phone at the reception. Um, at the reception. Okay. Okay, so Carlos and Mauricio answered the phone at the reception. Okay, yo le puse the phone. Okay, it's okay. So those are examples of sentences in simple present, affirmative, and negative. Let's continue with the other examples that you have here. This is what I asked you at the beginning of the class, right? Here. This In this conversation, right, we are going to check on different activities that Janet and Cindy do. Here we go. <clears throat> it says, good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. But Katie is very busy. Really? Who's Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. 
On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails. And let me give me a second. <clears throat> on Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy, and on the weekends, she does many other things. So, what are some of the activities that you can read in the conversation? ¿Qué actividades podemos mencionar de la conversación? Activities that people do. Uh -huh. mm. Activities that people do in the conversation. All right, her report. She writes reports. She writes reports. What else? She makes many. She makes many. Yes, she writes reports. She makes many phone calls. She what else? Some emails. She sends some emails and she arranges meetings. Arranges meetings. She arranges meetings, right? So she does many, many, many things. <clears throat> what is something that she does on Monday? What does she do on Monday? She makes many she phone calls. Many phone calls. Make many phone calls. And on Wednesdays, she sends some emails. She sends some emails send and some email. And on Fridays, email. She arranges. She arranges. She arranges meetings, right? She arranges meetings. What is the name of the secretary? Kathy. Kathy, right? What Katie. is <laughs> Katie? Katie, like Katy Perry. What is her profession? What is Katie's profession? Secretary. She is a secretary. She is a secretary. New. And She's the new secretary, right? Poor uh, Katie, she's the new secretary. Questions about vocabulary, people? Preguntas acerca del vocabulario, algo que no les quede claro? Are new words? Nuevas palabras? Arranges. Arranges. Arranges is organize. Arrange. Arrange es un sinónimo de organize. Bookkeeper. A bookkeeper es lo que les comentaba, que es como el, el contador. The bookkeeper es el que lleva todas las facturaciones y todo el, el encargado. She loves. Uh -huh. The next one. Her schedule is very tight, she says. ¿Qué significa eso? Her schedule is very tight. No idea. Apretado. Apretado. Her schedule is very tight. That you don't have a, a space of anything, right? Her schedule is very tight. Tiene un horario muy apretado. No apretado de que lo está matando, sino que apretado de que no le cabe un alma ahí. Es igual. Yeah, it's the same, right? It's the same for me, right? On, bueno, Wednesday. on Wednesdays, we don't know what does she do, right? Uh, well, on Wednesdays, she sends some emails. And on the weekends, we are going to see in the next conversation. So, and in this one, we are going to have a conversation about a daily routine, okay? And you are going to get some ideas of what they do. In this one, let me just stop. Mm. 
wait. Wait, wait, wait. No es emoción. Here I go, here I go. I boy, I boy. Okay, give me one second. I need to share my screen and the audio. Necesito activar el audio primero. There you go. And in here. Okay, college life. Ok, good. Hoy sí ya lo tengo. Dejen, se los comparto. Ok. Ay, ese suspiro me igual a mí. <laughs> Let's go with this one, ok? Let me know if you can listen to the audio, ok? <clears throat> Oh, hi Dave. Long time no see. Hi Maria. I was in the neighborhood so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so how have you been? Oh, not bad. And you? Uh, I'm doing okay. But school has been really hectic these days and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French. But I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. Okay, it was a little bit complicated, but not impossible. Did you get any idea of what they do during the week? Ajá. ¿Alguna idea que lograron captar de qué hacen durante la semana? No. He works. He Ajá. works in the restaurant. He, he works in the restaurant. Cook. He is a cook, he right? He is a chef. Mm -hmm. How many days a week? ¿Cuántos días a la semana trabaja? Three days a la semana. Three days a week. Very good. He works three days a week. Excellent. And what about the lady? Is she studying or is she working? I am not sure, but she, she says um, work. Okay, she and works, right? She works. She works. She works during the... Wait, computer she design. She works on computer design. Very good. Okay, it was a challenging listening, but it was not impossible. Here, I am going to send you the link. Ya le voy a enviar el link para que lo puedan volver a escuchar muchas veces más. Ya más tranquilos ustedes solos. But in this one, have what we were studying, right? Aquí tenemos la parte dos que hicimos el día de ayer y el día de hoy. For he, she, and it, right? We have he, she, and it. Example sentences. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer las oraciones? She. She makes many make phone many calls. Phone. She phone makes calls. many phone calls, right? She makes she many makes phone calls. Phone the phone next phone. one. She makes he carries box in the to the truck. He truck. carries carries he carries carries boxes boxes, boxes. boxes. 
True. Into the truck, right? He carries into boxes the into the truck. Into the truck. Al he camion, right? Lleva las cajas in. al camión. Cindy. Cindy. Send reports Cindy. to Cindy. other companies. Cindy, Cindy sends reports company. to other companies. Before. It. It helps workers be on time. Be on time. And the last one? My boss My boss talks about the new rules. My boss talks about the new rules. What about the negatives? She she doesn't make many phone calls. She doesn't make many phone calls. Number two. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. What about Cindy? Cindy doesn't send. Cindy doesn't send. She doesn't send reports to other companies. It doesn't. It doesn't help workers be on time. It doesn't help workers be on time. And the last one. My boss. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. Very good job. What about this ones? We have to make them exactly as what we have here on the example, using the verb on Como la completamos? He orders. Orders, very good. He orders what? Everything. He orders everything in the office. Number two, Amy and Teresa. Uh, as, it's, as, Amy and Teresa uh, as, 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 to people this is plural uh, Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures for the every sig Friday sig yeah. yes signatures no las firmas signature <laughs> es firma Subject is asignatura. So that is something different. So you have subject is una asignatura de la escuela y signature is firma. Okay. Yeah. Helen, negativo call. Helen. Not call. Helen doesn't call. The design department of weekends. Very good. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. I write. Right. I write. I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. Number four. She. She our desk. Our desk. morning. She cleans. Our desks our desk. in, the morning. in the morning. In the morning. Mario, not keep. Mario doesn't. Mario doesn't. A record of the merchandise. 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 Mario doesn't keep the record of the merchandise he buys. The merchandise, la mercancia, right? The merchandise he buys. That is the word. The, mercan the merchandise is mercancia. And in this one, well, we have a short conversation about this one and we can use it here. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? I go to work, I study, I do many things. What about you and your partner? 
¿qué hacen ustedes durante su día a día? Esto lo hicimos ayer. I go to work, I study, I take lunch, right? You did your different routines. This is what we did yesterday. Esto fue lo que hicimos el día de ayer. But we're going to go <clears throat> a little bit further. I have here four different people. What are the activities that Ricardo Mata does? What are the activities that Ricardo Mata does? So you say he, he keeps track on the sales. Okay. He keeps track on the sales. ¿Qué más hace Ricardo Mata? He writes reports. He writes reports and he? He buys new merchandise. He buys new merchandise. Very good. He buys new merchandise. What about Oneida? What does she do? Aquí no vamos a decir he, vamos a decir she. She creates software. She creates software. She repairs computers. And she installs the antivirus. What about Nelly, Nelly Pineda? What are the things that she doesn't do? She don't. She don't. She doesn't. 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 And he doesn't decide, 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 he doesn't receive money from sales and he doesn't decide what to buy. Okay, sorry for Max. Max no recibe pistil. Sorry for Max. So those are the things that he doesn't do. Very good job. So according to this information, we have some questions. Basado en esta info, okay, tenemos un, okay, hay un cell phone. Basado en esta info que tenemos arriba, we are going to answer yes or no to these questions. I have, I will make it a little bit smaller for you to see. I don't know if you can see it now. Okay. But here we have the different people. And it says, do Oneida and Nelly work with software? Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Yes, she do. Oneida and Nelly? No. Oneida. No, 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 no. Do they work with softwares? They... Trabajan con softwares? Oh, no. yes. 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 Yes, right? Yes, yes. they do. Yes. Yes, they, do. Oh. they create software and they exchange information about programs. So in this case, you will say, yes. They do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Yes, yes, I do. Do they sell antivirus? Yes, they do. Yes. No. No, 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 they don't. No. They install, but they don't sell. Aquí dice install antivirus. They don't sell it, right? No, they don't. Don't. No, they don't. Solo lo instalan, no lo venden. What about the next one? Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? Do they get money from sales, Ricardo and Max? Yes. No. 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 
He doesn't receive money from sales. Ahí lo dijimos nosotros. No, no they don't. No, no. they don't. No, okay. they don't. No, they don't. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? No, do they, they don't. No, they don't. Do they write reports? No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't write reports. <clears throat> they don't write Report. reports. Hello, Ricardo. Only Ricardo. Pero es que aquí están juntos, ¿ver? Do Ricardo mm -hmm. Mata y Max Pinto. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. Aunque uno yo lo sé, yo, yo se los pregunté <laughs> individuales. They, yes, they do. Right? They write reports. Anyway. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yo creo que todos los seres del mundo nos toca hacer reportes. Do they write reports? Yes, they do. The pen. So you say yes, they, they do. do. Do Ricardo and Max repair computers? Yes, they do. Yes, they uh -huh. do. No. No, no, they don't. No, no they, they don't. don't. Right? They don't repair no, computers. Ya les están poniendo trabajo que no les corresponde. <laughs> they say no, they don't. Can do Oneida and Nelly install programs? No. Yes. Yes, they yes. do. Yes, yes, they install, yes, right? They yes, they do, right? Yes, they do. They install different programs. We are contrasting information here. That's important. Yes, they do. And this takes us to the last things about this unit, the yes, no questions, right? The yes, no questions are the ones that we have been practicing. Las estamos practicando en este momento. Do I get up early? Do you call other companies? Do they transport the product? Do we check the policies? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Here you have five questions. Can you create them, please, with the information that we have here? Similar to this one. You have the subjects, you have the verbs, and you have the complements. How would you make the questions? ¿Cuál sería el primero que tenemos que poner aquí? El auxiliar para you. Do. 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 Do you work? Do you work, company? Do you work company? Do you work in a company? Do you work in a company? And the next one. Do they? Do they? Do they, do they check, product? Check, check the product? Do they check the product? And the next one. Do we? Do we? Do we listen to customers? Do we listen to customers? What about the next one? Do I? Do I? Do I buy? Do I buy new material? Do I buy new material? And Milena and Pablo. Design logos. Okay. Okay. Tengo una competencia ahí de Kaisers. Do Milena and Pablo design logos? Yes, they do. Or no, they don't. Okay, so it has been a night full of grammar, I know, right? But it's necessary sometimes. Yo sé que hay días que sí lo voy a llenar con un poquito más de grammar, pero es necesario hacer como estos órdenes de, de ideas, right? Hay días en que platicamos más, hay días en las que hacemos más y hay días en las que escribimos mucho más. Este es un día de escribir. So we are going to work on this one. This is the second part of questions that I want to, to use. This is for does, right? Does she ask for assistance? This is for the he, she, and it. And does he drive the truck on weekends? 
Does Elena make phone calls? Does our company check policies? Yes or no, she does. What will be the question for these answers? Does he? Does he what? Fixes. Does he? Fix. Fix, very good, porque no podemos poner fixes. Does he fix? The AC. Uh, AC on Friday. The AC on Friday. 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 Okay. Does he fix the AC on Friday? Yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. What about the next one? Does she? Does she? Does she? Does, 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 does she does send? She send Many emails to customers. Does she sell many emails to customers? What about the next one? She cleans the floor, the first floor only. Does she clean? 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 The first floor only. only. Okay, does she clean the first floor only? No, she doesn't. She cleans. The, okay, in this one, let's fix the question. Aquí vamos a arreglar esta pregunta. Porque en la respuesta nos aclaran que es solo el primer piso. Entonces, tendríamos que preguntar si ella limpia todos los pisos, right? Does she clean all the floors? Does she clean all the floors? No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. Porque en la respuesta nos dice que solamente el primer piso. Right? Entonces en la pregunta le digo, ella limpia todos los pisos. Does she clean all the floors? No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. And what about the last one? Yes, he That's does. Very... Eric keep track on the sales. Does Eric keep track on the sales? On the sales? Okay. Does Eric keep track on the sales? Yes, he does. Eric keeps track on the sales. So those are different questions, right? A little bit challenging, but not impossible. Lo reté un poquito más. A ir más allá de lo, de lo normal en el he, she, it, but it's good. We are going to do a final exercise. Let me share it with you. Vamos a hacer un último ejercicio de listening. Just for us to manage our ears a little bit. You can stretch a little bit. Se pueden estirar un segundito, le un segundo para que se estiren. Ah, go ahead, go ahead. <clears throat> Hoy ha sido su pobre cerebro, lo tengo, pero lleno de información. Yes. It's like teacher, not anymore. Okay. And el día que traigo dolor de cabeza. Ay, my God. La teacher tuvo la culpa. ¿no? Okay. I am going to work on this one. We are going to work and to listen to the information about an English teacher. Okay. Let me share my screen with you. And that's the, the final exercise we will. Okay. And here I go. Me avisan si pueden escuchar. I'm an English teacher and I have a big family. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. And here you go. I am going to... Okay, you can... Okay, you can see the paragraph, right? Okay, there you go. You are an English teacher and you come from a big family. I'm an English teacher and I have a big family, so I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at 6 o'clock, get washed and dressed, and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at 8 o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. I teach again in the afternoon and then I correct my students' homework and tests. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. 
I have three kids in elementary school. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then, I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Es el número ganador de la lotería. Sorry. I am an English teacher, it says. And I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. What is the first activity that he does? First, I get up, right? I get up every day at six o'clock. What is the next thing he does? Get wash and dress. Get wash and dress. And leave for work by 7.30. The next thing he does, it says, I get to school at 8 o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then I teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. I teach again in the afternoon and then I correct my students' homework and test. After I get back home. I get back home. I get I help my kids with the homework. I have three kids in elementary school. Okay, pausa. La frase, I have three kids in elementary school, ¿es una actividad que hace en su día a día o nos está aclarando algo? Está aclarando algo. Exactly, right? I have three kids in elementary school. Ahí, esta no cuenta como una frase de su día a día. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Information. Then I do some exercise. Yes, in this one, yes. I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV. I go to bed at about 10 o'clock, right? I go to bed at around 10 o'clock. The next one, we love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep, okay? He does many different activities, right? He is an English teacher. It's very similar to my life. I do many things. So, <clears throat> The only thing that I don't do is that I don't have three kids. I only have one. Mm -hmm. I am an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. As you can see here, he is describing his routine. Esto es algo que vamos a hacer para el día lunes. El día lunes ustedes van a preparar. Ah, no, si lunes es vacation. Yeah. yeah. Para el martes. Entonces, más tiempo todavía. You are oh. going to prepare. You are going to prepare an example of this one. You are going to prepare an example of your daily routine. So you say, first I do this, I do that, and then you are going to describe exactly like my teacher. Okay, vamos a hacer un ejemplo similar a este con las cosas que ustedes hacen en su día a día. Okay, so you are going to do, first I do, I get up, I eat lunch and everything, and you are going to describe. Okay. No lo vamos a hacer igual a ese porque ustedes pues no preparan lecciones, no preparan eh, tareas, ni revisan tareas. O quién sabe. My cell phone. I check my cell phone, you say. And you are going to describe something like this for Tuesday. Lo vamos a preparar para el martes. Mañana, pues obviamente les voy a, eh, a dar el párrafo, lo van a trabajar y todo. Y ya van a tener una idea. Edwin nos está sacando una captura de pantalla y ya vi. <laughs> Good, okay. But keep this one. Yo creo que si alguien le sacó una captura de pantalla, les va a servir. Mándenla al grupo 
porque la vamos a ocupar el día de mañana. Okay. Mañana tenemos plataforma. We are going to use platform tomorrow and we are going to finish with this one and we are going to work in groups. So please don't miss the class tomorrow. We have many things to do and we are going to finish with this section. Mañana va a haber un montón de trabajo que hacer, así que vénganse listos. No. Vénganse en tenis. <laughs> okay, so it was a very, very uh, good day because we got a lot of knowledge, okay? Hoy nos ordenamos, ordenamos oraciones, ordenamos nuestra mente. Ya no vamos a andar diciendo por el mundo, I does, she don't. Mm -hmm. No, right? We are not going to do that anymore. Please practice. And we are going to finish with this unit tomorrow. We are going to work on the platform as well. So if you can advance uh, in that, I am not going to give you homework, okay? Hoy no les voy a dejar tarea para que puedan avanzar en los ejercicios de la plataforma y los tengan listos para la clase de mañana, okay? So have a wonderful night, my dear students. It was a pleasure to serve you and I will see you tomorrow in a different class. Thank you. Good night. Sleep time. Have a good night. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Have a beautiful night. Bye bye. 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 Take care. Bye.